Viv. What we're going to talk about today is working in extended mode in your Windows computer. So this is one of our frequently asked questions. We do get a lot of folks that reach out and they're like, hey, love the panel, love hooking up my computer, but I run into a problem when I go into extended mode, I lose my touch function. It seems to just disappear. So let's go ahead and talk about that. That's going to be in your computer settings. So how are we going to get there? I am on the home screen of my Q-Series panel. Very fabulous, very snazzy. I am going to pop into my Windows computer that I have connected. Uh, so I can see I actually have something connected into my rear or my side type C port. That is my Windows computer. Uh, I can give that a little tap tap a room. I'm like, yes, that is exactly where I want to go. So I'm going to pop in here. And there we go. Um, good, bad, or indifferent. This is my computer. All of its quirks and everything else. So in here, like I said, extended mode is something that you choose from your computer. So we're going to go ahead and work in there. If you're running Windows 11, where you want to look is just kind of down in the middle. Uh, you see your little Windows 4 box icon. That is going to be your computer settings and all that great stuff. If you are running Windows 10 or earlier, you're actually going to want to look over to the bottom left corner of your screen. That's where you're going to see that Windows icon where you will have access to your settings. So right now, I'm actually going to pull up my computer just so you can kind of see uh, everything that's happening on my laptop here is happening on my screen. They're duplicated. So anything that I would do here is going to show up. So we want to go into extended mode. So I will go into my computer settings because this is a computer option. And of course, settings is that little cogwheel. I cannot stress it enough. Anytime you see a settings cogwheel, go around the block and meet the neighbors because a lot of your questions actually just have to do with settings. So we're going to pop in here and we're going to see what our options are. Of course, we want to work with our display because we're looking to do extended display where I can have one thing going on my laptop and something else happening on my panel. And we want to divide and conquer and have a dynamic day. So let's go ahead and check this out. We are going to pop into display settings and I can see all sorts of options, but nice thing is it's right up top. Duplicate these displays. That's where we're at. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lift up my computer so you can kind of see what's happening on both displays at once here. Instead of doing duplicate, I'm going to choose extend these displays. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that out and you will get an alert on your computer saying, hey, is this what you want to do? So keep these display settings. Yes, keep changes. Like I meant to do this. We want to go ahead and go with it. So what the question is or what happens at this point is some folks will report that all of a sudden their touch function isn't working on the panel. And that's because when you're working in extended mode, the touch follows the primary. So you just need to ensure that you keep your panel as the primary display. So that's what that is. I will say some of the newer computers that'll actually duplicate on both, you may not run into a problem. But if you are somebody that's like, oh, wait a second, nothing, nothing's touching anymore. This is how we're gonna fix that. So as I can see, my little computer here is number one. I've got all of my icons that I can see on my desktop. And my extended display is clean and fresh. That's how I, I'm very easy to tell the difference between the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down multiple displays. I'm going to click on number two, which is my new line panel. And all I have to do is click make this my main display. So when I choose that, all of a sudden you get the, and now here we go. This is my main display and I can shuffle things from this, <clears throat> this display onto my primary computer. So as I move around, uh, you just gotta find where your mouse is. <laughs> it's gonna be on one screen or the other, but now you can see that my laptop is doing something different than the panel, but I can move things around and my touch function is working great on the panel. So again, to recap that, I'm gonna set this down since this is my primary now. I'm going to go into my Windows icon down here at the bottom, into my computer settings, and what we're working with are our display settings. 
So again, you work through here. There's my display setting. And all I have to do is choose my options if I want my computer or the panel to be my main display. So hopefully that helps you, uh, gets you on the right track and also allows you to kind of leverage your panel a little bit more dynamically. So you can have something going on on your laptop, something going on for everybody else that you're working with, uh, makes it really easy to divide and conquer. If you have any questions whatsoever, please do not reach out. That is how we create these videos based on feedback and questions and things that you would like to see. So hopefully we will meet again on another video. Keep the questions coming and we'll talk again soon. Take care.